Welcome, I am Meredith Albright, Director of St. Augustine's Episcopal Church in Rhinelander. I also serve as Dean of the Wisconsin River Deanery of the Diocese of Fond du Lac. It is the nine churches of this deanery that have collaborated to offer this Thanksgiving service. It is our way of bringing together people of our region of the diocese in prayer and music at a time when we cannot gather in person. We hope you enjoy and are inspired by the service and by seeing the interiors of the churches of the deanery. As we move forward in this service, you will see contributions from each of the parishes in the deanery, which are St. Mark's Wapaka, the beloved community Stevens Point, St. John's Wisconsin Rapids, St. James Mosinee, St. John the Baptist Wausau, Ascension Merrill, St. Matthias Manaqua, St. Francis Eagle River, and here at St. Augustine's. At this time, I will open us in prayer. Almighty and gracious Father, we give you thanks for the fruits of the earth in their season and for the labors of those who harvest them. Make us, we pray, faithful stewards of your great bounty, for the provision of our necessities and the relief of all who are in need, to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Please join me from your homes in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. One of our musicians, Sam Schneider, will now play I Am the Bread of Life. If you know the words, please join in. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you no are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone in whom the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. Let us pray and give thanks for the Holy Catholic Church of Christ here and throughout the world. For its unity and its diversity and the faith to honor both. For its vision to lift all into new relationship with God and each other, even as we struggle with brokenness and healing among us. For the faithful witness of laity and clergy throughout the world and in our diocese, and in particular through St. Mark's Wapaka, the beloved community, Stevens Point, St. John's Wisconsin Rapids, St. James Mosany, St. John the Baptist, Wausau, Ascension, Merrill, St. Ambrose, Antigo, St. Augustine, Rhinelander, St. Matthias, Manaqua, St. Francis, Eagle River, St. Olaf's, Amherst. Ever living Father, watchful and caring, our source and our end. Accept us, accept our thanksgiving for creating, sustaining, and delivering us. You forgive even before we ask. You offer healing even before we know our need. When we seek you, you are near. You surround us with fellowship and family that we might not walk alone. In thanks, we ask you to open our eyes our ears, our hearts, and our hands, that we might grow closer to you and your creation through the joys and suffering of life's journey. By the power of your Spirit, behold and bless your family for which your Son was willing to die, in whose name we now pray.
Welcome to St. John's Wausau. The fall colors remind us that our national celebration of Thanksgiving will soon be here. At St. John's, we give thanks for the saints of God, the saints of the salvation narrative, and the saints who lived and worshiped in this place. Throughout our parish church, their legacy of faith is enshrined in stained glass, wood, and brass. Their names are ever present with us as we worship our triune God in the beauty of holiness as a communion of saints. We ask ourselves now, what will be our legacy of faith? The servant's heart that works to show the bounty of God's grace. Oh, pray give us a thankful heart that honors saints above, and a sturdy faith that does impart the goodness of God's love. fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place. What is man that you are mindful of him and son of man that you care for him? We give you thanks and praise, O God of creation, for the grandeur of all that you have made. We thank you, God, for the healing waters of creation, which bring pleasure and health, purity and love. We thank you, God, for the richness of the good earth that brings forth fruits and flowers, a pleasure to taste and a joy to behold. We thank you, God. For the soaring birds of the air, crawling creatures on the earth, the gliding fishes in the seas, for all creatures great and small with whom we share this precious web of life. We thank you, God. For the invigorating sunlight of day, the deepening mystery of night, the wonder of the stars, and the call of the unknown in the, in the universe. We thank you, God. From heedless misuse and dishonoring of the wonders of your hand. Good Lord, deliver us. From squandering re resources, abusing our companion species, and polluting the habitat we all share. Good Lord, deliver us from the folly of imagining ourselves free from the fate of your whole creation. Good Lord, deliver us. For the courage and wisdom to confess how little we have cared for your gifts. Strengthen us, O Spirit. For the conviction that you have called us to love and restore the earth. Strengthen us, O Spirit. For repentance and the determination to begin our stewardship anew. Strengthen us, O Spirit. O merciful Creator, your hand is open wide to satisfy the needs of every living creature. Make us always thankful for your loving providence and grant that we, remembering the account that we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of your good gifts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, giver of all good things, we thank you for the natural majesty and beauty of this land. They restore us, though we often destroy them. Heal us. We thank you for the great resources of this nation. They make us rich, though we often exploit them. Forgive us. We thank you for the men and women who have made this country strong. They are models for us, though we often fall short of them. Inspire us. We thank you for the torch of liberty which has been lit in this land. It has drawn people from every nation, though we have often hidden from its light. Enlighten us. We thank you for the faith we have inherited in all its rich variety. It sustains our life, though we have been faithless again and again. Renew us. Help us, O oh Lord, to finish the good work here begun. Strengthen our efforts to blot out ignorance and prejudice and to abolish poverty and crime and hasten the day when all our people with many voices in one united chorus will glorify your holy name. Amen. Amen. As we face, dear God, these uncertain times in our nation and the world, we ask you, Lord, to dwell among us. We are comforted by the knowledge that you alone are our Savior and Lord and the ultimate master of life. We trust our nation to your loving care. Send your spirit to touch the hearts of our nation's leaders. Give them the wisdom to know what is right and the courage to do it. Give us your light and your truth to guide us in our ways so that we may seek your will in our lives and impact the world around us for your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. risks their own health for our sake 
and provides for our daily needs. Continue to guard and protect them from all danger and harm and help us to acknowledge and honor their sacrifice by living lives that respect and promote the well-being and health of all. Through the one who gave himself for our sake, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. unbroken by and by lord by and by may the circle be unbroken in the sky lord in the sky caught our help in ages past and our hope for years to come our shelter from the storm's blast and our eternal home in the shadow throne your saints have dwelt secure in your mighty arms alone our defense is always sure You are God, to endless years the same. A thousand ages in your sight are like an evening gone. As the watch that ends the dark night for the rising of the sun. May the circle be unbroken, by and by, Lord, by and by circle be unbroken in the sky lord in the sky O oh God, who created all peoples in your image, we thank you for the wonderful diversity of races and cultures in this world. Enrich our lives by ever widening circles of fellowship. Show us your presence in those who differ most from us. 
until our knowledge of your love is made perfect in our love for all of your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for our families, for our parents, grandparents, and godparents who raised us and guided us in knowing and loving you, for our spouses and significant others whom you have given us for support, for our children, natural and adopted, who you have sent into our lives to bring us joy and happiness for our extended families, uncles, aunts, cousins, and their extended families as well. Because we are your children, we know we are all your people. Yes, we are your people and we are fearful. Fearful of this pandemic and what it is doing to our society. We are afraid of losing our jobs, our income, our homes, our friends. We are afraid of sickness afraid of dying, yet our fears are groundless. You have assured us time and time again that you will be our protector and salvation. In the words of the 91st Psalm, we hear, you who live in the shoulder of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in the darkness or the destruction that wastes a noon ray. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall behold you. No scourge shall come to your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you 
to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent. You will not trample under your foot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the dominion of sin and death and brought us into that kingdom of your Son. And we pray that as by his death he has called us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joys who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. to become one heart and mind, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, so they might be one heart and mind with us. Then the world might believe that you, in fact, sent me. Hello, I am Diane Petrovic Rice from Intercession Episcopal in Stevens Point. As you know, in the summer of 2017, Intercession sold its building and moved in with Redeemer Lutheran here in Stevens Point. We thought we would be two churches sharing one building, and we are. But the Holy Spirit obviously has more in mind for both churches. Together, we are in a covenant partnership of two churches who worship together, pray together, grow together, and serve beyond our building's walls together and we are known in Stevens Point as a beloved community. This partnership doesn't make us less Episcopal or less ELCA Lutheran. Our experience is that our partnership is making us a wider expression of the body of Christ. And it has been a blessing. So, for our part in this service of giving thanks, we choose to use the Book of Common Prayer Collect for the mission of the church. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to reconcile the world to yourself. We praise and bless you for those whom you have sent in the power of the Spirit to preach the gospel to all the nations. We thank you that in all parts of the earth, a community of love has been gathered together by their prayers and labors and that in every place your servants call upon your name, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours forever. Amen.